Okay, everyone. It's not, um, these aren't the best of conditions to film in because I've got fans blowing. There's no light in here yet, but I gotta get this stuff, I don't, I don't have to get anything done, but I'd like to get this stuff done so I can start washing cars because both of my cars are a mess. So what we're gonna do today is put together the on-wall version of the CR Spotless system. So this is the DIC20. And then I'm unboxing the DIW20. So this, is, this one is specifically made for the wall. I'm sorry you can see my mic, but it's too hot to put the cable underneath my shirt. It drives me crazy. So, you know, I could have just cut the, you know, cut the bracket on this thing. But, you know, I've gone this far to make this specialty wash bay, so why would I cut corners at the last second? And I'm now a dealer for CR Spotless, so I'm able to get this a little less costly than what you guys pay. So make sure if you're gonna buy it, hit me up <clears throat> before you buy it. All right, so here's the unit. I'm probably going to, you know, I'm going to take all these stickers off. You guys know me, I like, I like debadged. So sorry to the crew at CR Spotless for blaspheming here, but I'm sure I'll be talking about this enough to where you guys will know what it is. So the basic premise, I mean, these are the exact same thing, it's just that this one's on a cart and this one's not. So the cart is welded on. So what I'm doing so that we have this underneath the pressure washer and have it mounted like so. I gotta go get my, get the exact dimensions of where, the, where I put the, the two by six in here. But I'm you gonna know, mount this centered up on the, on the pressure washer and then we're gonna have the, you know, have copper piping coming out and plumbing this with, with valves, so. It's gonna look pretty clean, pretty sweet. So I'm gonna put these on. You know what, I'm gonna put these on without the resin filters in it. Just so it's lighter, so I can mount it properly. So, you know, I want to mark this in the center of the pressure washer, not the center of the wall. So, 
is 27 inches, so 13 and a half is my center mark. And of course, I don't have a pen out here. Let's just eyeball it. So, center line is here. And then the center of this. It's 12 and a half. So is that six and a quarter? so dark in here, I can't see anything. Need some lights. The lights from AEI, they're on back order. I don't know what the heck's going on, it's been a month. So I actually swapped out AEI for, for the exterior for hunt, um, powered lighting. I don't think there's really much of a difference, but I'll never know there's a difference. And I ordered my Verilux bulbs. I ordered a hundred of them. So I'm gonna have, I decided I'm doing Verilux bulbs throughout. 6,500K, outside, inside, the whole thing. All right, so I think I want this puppy right about there. There's my center mark. Bingo, water line comes right up. Awesome. So, just hope I hit the stud. Since I gotta take these off anyway, this will make it easier on myself, do the smart thing instead of the hasty thing. This is, uh, these are slim enough bolts to, or lags to not need to drill a pilot hole. Level. I'm really glad I didn't cut the other one because this is super clean. this thing oh man 
I mean, I literally would have sat here with a darn rash and just, you know, for 10 minutes. Instead, it takes me 10 seconds. So let's see if we can. I'm going to get an extension, which it's not an impact extension, but. One, one more. And we got a dream coming true. I know most people dream about Lamborghinis. I dream about DI and I systems mounted to my wall, <laughs> which I'm sure a bunch of you do too. I'd say that's pretty solid. So we've got the deionizer mounted right below the pressure washer. And then you can see where we're gonna do the plumbing. Looks awesome. So let me get the, uh, the rest of the cartridges. Let me get the cartridges mounted. I decided not to do anything to the wall here. I may still at some point, but. Are these reverse? No. Meaning, you know, when you take these cartridges out, you know, the water gets all over the place. You know, because they're filled with water. But what I'll do is just wrap it with towels and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm in love. You know, part of the reason I chose the CR, other than it's super cool, and the people there are super cool, versus doing some more sort of sophisticated, or more uh, industrial type system, is because I think it looks cool. And it works really, really well. You know I'm going to want these lined up, right? A little bit more so they match. Holy cow, that's awesome. All right, so let's put in the those side fingers. Actually, we might not even need that. 
We'll see. I'll just leave these out here. Just in case. The plumber's coming Thursday or Friday to do all the, the valve system. Oh, it's NPT to MPT. MTP or something like that. I won't need any of this other stuff. I don't think I do. Oh, centering ring. Am I supposed to add that? Oh, yeah, I gotta put the centering ring in. I forgot about that. Felt like I was forgetting something. You know, my, uh, the other one, I haven't changed the filter, so I've only taken the things off one time. So we're putting these little rings in here to keep the resin filter centered. I forgot about that. I mean, I can't, can't tell you guys how much thought, I mean, some of you who've watched all the videos know, but how much thought and effort I put into this, <laughs> figuring this, something as stupid as this, where this is gonna go, figuring this out. Super, super satisfying to see it come, come to fruition. Actually put it all together and see it on the wall. It's so much more important to me than it probably is to you guys that are watching this. You know, it's like anything in my life. I, like in, you know, financial planning or, you know, being a financial advisor. You know, which I've always had a hard time explaining what the heck it is I do. You know, I'd always just assume that, you know, let me just give you my business card and it's got all these letters behind my name so you would just, you would know what that means and you'd hire me. Well, but that's, people don't know what the heck that stuff means. No one cares. The only person who cares is me. But, you know, my whole life has been everything. Everything has been like uh, over the top or just over and above to, to, you know, to try to be the best version of me. And so, you know, I have nine different, 10 different industry designations, which, you know, each one of them takes hundreds of hours of work, maybe not hundreds, but, um, you know, hours and hours of work and lots of tests and stuff like that. And so, you know, just like this thing, it's sort of a, this, this deionizer and pressure washer, sort of a microcosm of my life and that I just, I just can't, I can't think about anything else but this. I can't think anything else uh, about anything else but but financial, you know, being the the most astute sort of financial advisor there, you know, that I could be. And so, you know, not that this is the best or that I'm the best. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that it's just a this is this is a, 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 a an example of the way my life is wired, which you know has its pros and cons, but. Um, it's super satisfying, you know, to look at my wall and see all those diplomas, not for the vanity of it, but for the accomplishment of it, or to look at this same thing, look at the wall and see this design that I've been, I've been thinking about for so long and doing so much research and so much work. It's just super, super cool to, to, to be able to, 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 to see that and, 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 and be a, sort of a part of that. And, and then it's even weirder for me to take you guys on this on this journey to take you through this as well. Um, but uh, I'm psyched. I think it looks great. The electrician's coming on Friday to wire. Plumber's coming on Thursday or Friday to plummet, and then I'll be able to start washing cars. I mean, my cars are a mess. Um, you know, I've got water spots on both of them. I'm gonna have to polish them. I'm gonna probably have to compound both of them. 
um, which I'm working on a, a system to, to remove orange peel um, that's not wet sanding or remove as much of the, maybe not remove the orange peel, but uh, remove the sort of the, the noise inside of the, the orange peel to make it look like I've reduced it uh, without removing too much paint. Um, so I, I really can't wait to get started on that. I just don't have anywhere to do it. Um, I can go to the neighbors, but I need to get at least my wash bay done so that way I can go spend a, you know, a couple of weekends getting, the, getting my, my cars dialed back in so then I can properly maintain them in the wash, the wash bay. Cool. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll be sure to bring, uh, do some video of the, when the plumber sort of connects this, the electrician connects this stuff. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll have some time to step out of the office to catch some video of them doing this. But, um, you know, thanks for, thanks for watching as always, guys. Come see Daddy. Come over here. Can you wave to everybody? Wave to the camera. Hi, everybody. They don't get big. Big, big tail.